Hey my loved ones, it's your girl Chanel and today I have another video for my makeup brand collection series. So today's makeup brand is MAC. I know you guys have been waiting for this video. I was going to save it for last but I was like let me just go ahead and get it out the way. So I have a lot of stuff from MAC so I'm just going to go through the products real fast. I'm not going to do swatches, I'm just going to show you the product, tell you the name and that is it. So let's begin. Okay, first I have the MAC Fix Plus. And this is good to spray your face. Matter of fact, let me spray mine right now. So it can last all day long. I have the MAC Brush Cleaner, which is $15. I think this is $22 if I'm not mistaken. I have the MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder. Um, I'm not sure how much that is. I have the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 in NW46. I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark. And it looks like this. I have three blushes from MAC and that is all. I only have three MAC blushes. So I have Raisin, which is my all-time favorite, and it looks like that. I have Love Rush, and that one looks like that. And another one of my favorites, which is called Fever, and it looks like that. Okay, so those are my face products. No, I still got two more left. I have the NW50 Studio Fix Concealer. Looks like that. I also have the Select Cover Up Concealer. And this one is in NW45. And this one's brand new, but I use this for my eyebrows. And it looks like that. Okay, so now we are moving on to the brushes. Okay, I only have six brushes from MAC because, you know, they are pretty pricey. And to me, I like Sigma brushes just as much as I like MAC. I like the Coastal Sense brushes and all the other brushes just like I like MAC. But I re rarely go for my Sigma brushes. I really reach for them the most. I hardly even reach for these MAC brushes. So I'm going to show you which ones I have. I have the MAC 226 brush, which is a tapered blending brush. I have the MAC 252 brush, which is an eyeshadow brush, a large one. I have the MAC 217 brush, which is um, a fluffy blending brush. I have the MAC 219 brush, which is a pencil brush. I have the MAC 129, and this is a blush brush. And last but not least, I have the MAC 222 brush, and this is a large tapered blending brush. So those are all my MAC brushes. Okay, I have three liners, and that is it. I have this basic red chromographic pencil in basic red and it is just a red pencil. I have two lip pencils and this one is in Night Moth. And this one is in Chestnut. Those are the only three pencils that I have from MAC. Okay, so I have a lot of eye shadows from MAC and then I'll do the lips last. Okay, so I have only three pigments from MAC. I have this one right here, which is basic red, and this is a pro. I got this at the pro store in Las Vegas a long time ago. I have this pigment. This one is called Tan, and it looks like that. This pigment right here is called um, Copper Sparkle very pretty 
I have uh, the MAC Liquid Last Liner, and I really like these liners. But once I found L'Oreal, uh, um, L'Oreal's Carbon Black Liner, I started wearing that. So I do not purchase this anymore, but I did love the heck out of this eyeliner. And I have this mineralized eyeshadow, which is called Cinderfeller. Cinderfeller? Fella? Cinderfeller. And I really like this eyeshadow. Yvette bought this for me for my birthday three years ago in Vegas. And it is just like a black and silver mix eyeshadow. Very pretty. I have this eyeshadow in Typographic. I haven't opened that yet or put it in my palette, which I need to. And I have a couple of single eyeshadows that I have not depotted yet. This one is Royale, which is a very pretty blue this one is bamboo this one is carbon this one is yet yeah, three ring yellow and this one is a velux pearl the other ones were matte this one is a satin. This one's called Blue Candy. This one is a matte and it's called Sassy Grass. This one is a matte and this one is called Shockaholic. And the other ones I have in my palette, I bought these palettes from, I think, Coastal Scents. And I just put a MAC um, label on top of it so I could tell the difference between my MAC shadows and my um, Coastal Scents Hot Pots. So that is one of the palettes that I have, all the MAC single eye shadows. That's one palette, and this is the second palette. I only have two palettes, and this one right here. I don't know, I have a, what's missing? Oh, okay. And that is my neutral MAC palette. Okay, so now for the lip products, I have a couple of lip glosses. This one right here is a MAC Cream Sheen Glass. This is Overindulgence. Most of them are nude tones. This one is a kissable lip color and it's called Super. This is a kissable lip color and it's called Peacocky, which I use in a lot of my tutorials. This one is another kissable lip color. This one's called Tempa Tantra. This one is a MAC Pro Longwear Lip Color, and this one is in Loyal, and one side is clear. And then I have some mini lip glosses that I've been having for a while. This one is called Bright and Perky. This one is called Girls at Play. This one is called Spirits of Flying. I really like this color right here. This one is called Instant Gold. And it's just like a sheer uh, lip gloss with gold, gold glitter. This next one is called Scottish Lilt. This next one doesn't have the name on it because it's scratched off and I cannot see it so it looks like that this one is called Angel Wing and this last one is called Stealing Kisses which is one of my favorites as you can tell Okay, so now for the lipsticks, and this is going to conclude my MAC um, collection. Okay, so this one is Ruby Woo, which is my favorite red lipstick.
from MAC and this is a matte shade. This one is, I don't know what that one is. This one is coconutty and it is a frost. This one is photo and this is a satin. This one is Young Rapunzel and this is an Amplified. This is Taupe and it is a matte. This one is Craft and this one is an Amplified. I really like this color. It is a gorgeous nude color for a woman of color. This one is Cyber which is a satin. This is Film Noir and this is a satin. This one is Icon and this is a frost. And this last one is Viva Glam 3 and this is a matte. So that is all that I have for you guys for my MAC products. It's not that much, but um, I wear I do wear my MAC products, but I just don't see myself purchasing so much MAC because it is so expensive. So I do buy stuff here and there, but I do like MAC items and products and their brushes. And they're not affordable, but I do purchase them. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.